Welcome to another episode of The U. My name is Robert Whitaker. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to easily capture the same packet across multiple switches using the ACI Elam Assistant. So if you're new to the Elam Assistant, I highly recommend that you first watch another Cisco U YouTube video that I created. In that video, I do a high level overview of the Elam Assistant and I show you how to use it to troubleshoot. I'll include a link to that video in the show notes. So the Elam Assistant's an amazing tool. It's great for troubleshooting, but it's also great if you better wanna understand how your traffic is being switched across the ACI fabric. So let's go over what we're going to do. So notice we have a web server and an app server, and the web server is currently successfully sending SSH traffic to the app server. So what we're going to do is capture the same SSH packet across three different switches. So we'll configure the Elam Assistant to run Elam captures on Leaf 101, Spine 201, and Leaf 102. So let's do a walkthrough here. So when the web server sends the SSH packet, the Elam on Leaf 101 will capture the packet. That packet will then get switched to Spine 201, and then the Elam on Spine 201 will capture the packet. And that packet will then get switched to Leaf 102, and then the Elam on Leaf 102 will also capture the packet. And finally, the packet will then get switched to the app server. So we're gonna troubleshoot this issue in three simple steps. Step number one, we'll configure the Elam Assistant to capture the web server's SSH traffic across all three switches. Step number two, we'll then send SSH traffic from the web server. Step number three, we'll then view the Elam capture report for the three switches. And that takes us to step number one, we'll create a capture on all switches using the Elam Assistant. So let's go use the Elam Assistant on the APIC. I'm gonna click on the Apps tab, click the Quick Add button. Let's select all the three switches to run Elam captures on. Let's click the plus sign to add packet parameters. We'll go ahead and select destination port. We'll set the destination port to port 22. For some reason, the text is cut off. I'm not sure why that's happening, but I did type port 22 in here. Let's go ahead and add another packet parameter. This time I'm gonna select the source IP and we'll put in the web server's IP, which is 10.0.1.1. Again, it's cutting off the text for some reason, but I did put in the appropriate IP address. Let's click the add parameters button. So what we're setting up here is we're gonna capture the exact same SSH packet on Leaf 101, 102, and Spine 201. Now, one other thing we need to do is change Leaf 102's direction. So we need to change its interface from a downlink to a fabric link. So what we just did here was change the type of interface we're gonna capture the traffic on for Leaf 102. So since the traffic will be coming into an uplink or a fabric link, we changed the interface in the Elam Assistant from a downlink to a fabric link. Okay, now that everything's set up, let's click Set Elam. Okay, the Elam Assistant's now configuring the Elams on those three different switches. Okay, it's now set on all the three switches. And that takes us to step number two, we'll send SSH traffic from the web server. Let's try to SSH into the app server. Okay, we're able to attempt to do that. Next, let's go back to the Elam Assistant. We'll click the Check Trigger button to see if the Elams captured traffic. Boom, there we go. We're generating Elam reports for each switch. We can see now the reports are ready. And that takes us to step number three. We'll then view the Elam capture report for the three switches. So let's click on Leaf 101's report. If we go down, we can see the traffic came in on interface 13 on Leaf 101. If we move a little bit farther down, we can look at the forwarding result. We can see the, tra the switch did not drop the traffic. In fact, we can see Leaf 101 switched the traffic out interface 149 towards the spine. Next, let's check spine 201's Elam report. We can see the spine switch received the traffic on interface 11. And we can see the spine switch did not drop the traffic. It switched the traffic out interface 12 going to Leaf 102. Next, let's look at Leaf 102's Elam report. We can see the switch received the traffic on uplink 149. And if we go down to the forwarding result, we can see the leaf did not drop the traffic. It actually switched the traffic out interface 13 going to the app server. So we just captured the same packet getting switched across three different ACI switches. Very cool stuff. So the Elam Assistant's an amazing tool and it's not service impacting. So I encourage you to use it with traffic that's being properly switched in your ACI fabric. That will enable you to get really proficient with using it then when you have to troubleshoot with it, it's going to be easy. You're going to really know how to work with the Elam Assistant. Now, if you want to learn more about ACI and the Elam Assistant, you can go to uh, Cisco U. So just go to u.cisco.com. Uh, one of the courses that we cover the uh, Elam Assistant in is in the DC ACIO course. Now, outside of Cisco U, I do teach an instructor-led training called Cisco Operations and Troubleshooting Bootcamp for ACI. Uh, it's multiple weeks of training. So if you really want to learn ACI, I highly recommend this course. Uh, we also do cover the Elam and the Elam Assistant, and we show you how to use it to troubleshoot. 
If you're interested in more information in the course, I'll include a link to the course in the show notes. Also, if you like this video and want to see more of these videos in the future, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. All right, that's all I have, everyone. I hope this was useful and I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Thank you.